Welcome to Bandung. It is obviously evening and we are hungry for some dinner. Yes. yes. Now, Granite, you were telling me some kind of foods that you wanted. What is it you're looking for? Rice, chicken, samba, and ketchup bunnies. Yeah, that sounds like a winning combination. And really, when you think of that kind of food, Sudanese, baby. We are at a Sudanese restaurant here in Bandung, yeah. a very popular place according to Google. So we are going to check it out. You guys hungry? Yep. Yeah. Now I have yeah. a feeling somebody in the family might uh, might he not make it. So we were really hoping he wanted. He yeah, loves fish. he kept talking he about food and econ. econ. And we're like, let's go. And he fell asleep in a taxi right over here. <laughs> so, okay, well, let's head in, see what the menu's all about. The way it works, we, we get in the line and we tell them what we want and they cook it for us. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, all right, guys. So it looks like we are going to join the line okay. and uh, we what just kind of. Point to, uh, well, I don't know that yet, actually. Oh. It might be open seating, so we'll uh, we'll figure it out. This is a little bit different than the uh, Sudanese restaurant we're into in Jakarta. You want ayam? You want chicken? This is a chicken. This is duck. Ah, oh, chicken duck. Bebek is duck. Bebek, yes. Ayam? You want to fry it or grill? Uh, fry or grill. Fry. Okay. This one? Okay. Then, uh, satu tofu. Satu tempeh and satu rice. Rice. Can I have a chicken? Chicken. Can I have a grilled? Grilled? Okay, this one or this one? No. Okay, grilled. Um, can I have one portion of rice? Okay. Yeah, grilled is good. Wow, well, we're gonna go whole chicken. Oh, look at all those chilies. That looks good. Yeah. That's good. There's your spicy chicken. Yeah. Spicy chicken. What uh, do you have for sauté? And, uh, uh, sapi. Sapi? Yeah, beef sapi. Granny, do you want some saute? Yeah. One portion? Uh, two portions. Two portions? Uh, yes, uh, 16. 16, uh, Oh, eight portions. sticks per portion? Yeah. One portion. One portion. Yeah, good. Then we split four and four. Cedar, do you want any sap? So, do you want any saute? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you get eight, if you have two, four, six, I think it's still eight's enough. Um, okay, what else do we have? Do you want any other hot dog or econ? Can I have uh, one econ? Okay. This one? Yep. Sato. Is that Jenko down there? The big bean? Oh, a Jenko, yes. It's Jenko. Yeah, we have a Jenko. Sato. Okay. We have a Jenko crispy and a summer Jenko. Do you want crispy? Do you want crispy or... Let's do... Which is better? It's my first time. It is Jenko crispy. Okay, that one. Oh, I'm gonna get crispy Jenko. Woohoo! First time. More fish. Oh, fish. Oh no! I think we just take that econ. This is crispy Jenko right here. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be quick. Yeah, I think we can all split one one portion. Okay. Okay, granted, do you want any of this other stuff here? Uh, no, sure, I don't no? Think so. Okay. What is this? Is it a salted fish? A little and fish? And peanuts. I'll, I'll have the fish. One, one portion. One portion of that. Cal, is there anything else you want out of here? No, I am I think I'm going to be good. I ordered uh, tempeh and tofu, so, okay. and beans. <laughs> All right, Cedar, do you see anything you might want? All right, I think we're looking pretty good as we work down the line. Some kind of green vegetables here. A few cucumbers, maybe. Do you see cucumbers? Are they in there? In the vegetable Oh, maybe. You want a salad? Yeah, one salad. Okay. So this is the spicy sambal? Yes. And what is this one? This is a sambal ijo, a green sambal. Green sambal. Just a little bit of Okay, how about we have, can we have a little of each? Okay. This is a sambal terasi. With a salted fish too. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a little bit. Okay. Can I have that one? Okay. Yeah, okay, so we have all three. Okay. Uh, little portions of all three. Sita, do you want another portion of the sambal? Uh, We're going to get these three. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll stick with these three. That looks nice. It looks like there's some soups down there. Yeah, we have a soup tail of a beef. Oh, oxtail. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll definitely have some oxtail soup. How about uh, one portion oxtail, one portion of the sour soup. So we'll get two, two soups. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of yummy food. I pay now. Yes, and for on the drink, yeah. you can order in the cashier. Yeah. Okay, we order drinks at the cashier. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, you have uh, yeah, three portions of fries. Okay, yes. Okay. And, uh, soft yeah. tail. Yes. And uh, two chicken, uh, one veal, and one fry. fry. Yes. Tofu, sweet tofu, sweet tempeh, and one chicken. Yes, one whole yes. chicken. And a uh, fish. And uh, beef uh, satay. Yeah. Okay, you said. Okay, great. All right. Excellent. Thank you. This is your. Okay, 467,475 for a massive amount of food. Okay, thank you so much. So now that we have uh, paid up, we found a uh, seating here, this kind of sit down uh, family communal style table. And these guys are cooking all of the food. So everything that we just picked out from that line is being grilled up right over here over these uh, charcoal flavors. So the guys are have a huge wok, a big grill. They're preparing everybody's food and that will ultimately go to the table. And you can always order more, so it'll be interesting to see what we ordered in ratio compared to um, our hunger and if we're gonna want more or that's the adequate amount. But again, everything you do as you go down the line, pointing out what you want and the ladies back here will build your plate for you. It's then cooked, fried, grilled, however you choose, and sent to the table. What'd you guys get, tea? Yeah, hot tea. Hot tea. Um, cool. We did not order the hot tea per se, so it must be a uh, pa panas, panas, I believe. Red tea. No. Okay. Yeah, hot tea. I, I, it's probably with with gula. Let's see. Oh, for sure. Yeah. They mm, call it maybe not. Tea manis. It's tea sweet. manis. Yes, this is not manis. I don't think. No, not mm. no. Just regular. Nice. Okay, so we ordered. Um, all types of little treats okay. here. Salad. Salad. Look at all the sambal. Yes, lots of sambal variety. This is the soursop soup. The oxtail soup must be coming. This, I believe, is the fish. And Kelly, tell us about this dish here. So, this, I believe, is the jenkel. The jenkel bean, which is called the stinky bean. And we first heard about it while watching Mark Weens, it's one of his favorite beans. And then somebody else, another one of our subscribers, suggested that we um, definitely try. Or oh, banana leaves. Definitely try here. Oh. The uh, stinky bean. Tamakasi. So here we finally are finding it. Excellent, so here come the banana leaves, thank you. Ooh, dishes. Cool, I'm excited to see. Yeah, here, Cedar, send this one on down to four, so although he might not wake up. If he doesn't wake up, this could be like a little toy bed for all your all your characters down there. Yeah, but what? All right, all here right. we go. Banana leaves, yeah, spoons. Yeah, stinky bean. Stinky we tried beans. To, I tried to get this in a different episode, but um, the the lady had said it ran out. So I have no idea what to expect, but this one's cut thin and fried. All right, I bet it tastes delicious. It is crispy. Has a little bit of a bite, but it doesn't taste stinky to me. You want to try one? Yeah. Okay. It just it tastes looks like, like a fried crunch. garlic in a way. Yeah. Maybe like spicy garlic. Ah. Spicy and crunchy. I can hear your crunching from here. <laughs> All right, Cedar, are you gonna get on this crunchy bean? Um. It's really crispy. That's it. It's like that's potato garlic. Oh. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. A little spice. But a lot of crunch. A lot of crunch. <laughs> Definitely eat some uh, chili. Ooh, a little chili kick, but not overpowering. Huh. Ah. The tea pulls it down. Woo. Yeah. All right, well, I can't wait that to see. That is good, gentle. I can't wait to see what the rest of our food looks like. Uh, mm -hmm. Should be nice. Here, why don't we try one of these little fishies while we're here? Oh yeah, that'll be like, like your nasi lemak. See, do you want a little fish? They're gonna pass that. I wonder if they're anchovies. Look at all those good. chilies in there too. This good granite. These are salty. With the fish. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. It has that dried, salty fish flavor. I bet I don't know if those are anchovies, but it makes me think they are because of like the size. Does it look like a fish? 
Can you? It is official. Yeah. Mm. It's official. Yeah, quite nice. Yeah, good. Your mom, she's the jokester. And then uh, the old salad. Now these. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what these are. Wait. Little balls. Yeah. Yeah. Greatest we'll of find the out. hydromelons. Oh, okay. Could be a hydromelon. <laughs> From Zelda. Ah, okay. I was like, I don't know the reference. Zelda, got it. Okay, well, our rest of our food should be coming up here momentarily. Oh, look at that chicken. Oh, it's got the head still on it. Whoa. It's it's smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> Whole chicken. Kelly, it's got, here's little Cedar's chicken. And Beep the foot. Boop. The chicken little foot. one. Yeah, chicken foot. Chicken, tempeh, tofu. I think we just put it on our plate. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you load it up onto your banana leaf, guys. Yep, and then I'll oh. pass this on to you. Granny, you got the econ. Yeah, yep. it didn't look, look at what it came in, though. Some kind of chili or... Don't neglect the chili there, Granny. Ah, uh, rice. Yeah, just... It's gonna be good. So, to you, Terimakasi. Uh, get you some rice. Uh, no rice for me here. Yeah. Cool. Might have to scoot it. Mm. Big reach. Boom, there you go. And Granite, you want rice? That fish is going to be delicious, Granite. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that fish looks good. The chili looks good. Yeah, you, you got a whole chicken here. Chicken. Granite, you ordered grilled this chicken fish, too, right? so yeah. you could take that. Put that right on your plate. Is it, it might be hot, yeah? No, it's okay? Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so the only thing I think we're missing is the oxtail soup. Which I don't see, but yeah, these chilies that fish. All right, guys, dig in, right? Cedar, I ordered you more chicken than just that. You have tissue. Is that a tissue? Oh, yeah, you got napkins on the table. Um, Let's see if I can get it out for I'm, you. I'm already goopy. How do I eat this? Uh, you just start ripping. <laughs> I, just <missed> the leg. <laughs> I got the foot. You got the foot. So Let's lucky, see. Lucky wishbone kind there of thing. There go. All right. So you got the. Come on. Ah. Okay, leg in the thigh piece. Cedar, you want some of the grilled chicken too? Sure. All right, so there's the grilled chicken. The bone's still in it. I'm gonna go to this side. Yeah, boy, there's no easy way to do this without getting completely messy. But you can see the chicken and thigh. I'm gonna go for it. Mmm. It's a sweet barbecue. Wow, that's good. It's a spicy. A little, a little teeny kick to it. Yeah, that's great. Loaded with barbecue sauce. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Ginger, garlic, some kind of like a, a a sugary glaze. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Pretty tasty, huh, Cedar? I think we're definitely gonna go through some napkins uh, during this meal. Uh, yeah, definitely for cedar. It's really good, but the mm. best part about it is I can use my hands and it's really messy. Yeah, definitely a, a hands-on kind of place. There's no, uh, no, uh, not messy way to eat this. Now my oxtail soup just showed up, so I'm pretty excited to give that a try again. I've really grown uh, fond of oxtail soup. So between the oxtail soup and the sour sup soup, we're looking pretty good. What are you up to? Mm -hmm. Just gonna... Mm -hmm. Saute just showed up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Same. Whoa. Boom. Yes, Teramakasi Park. We got Ooh, the sambo. sapi. Yeah, the sapi. Beef, oh, that's beef? Saute, yeah. Beef saute. Ooh, it looks like a nice fatty piece too. Mmm. Outstanding. Yeah. See, do you guys take a break and try one of these? Really good. <laughs> Whoa. That's... No, it tastes like honey a little bit. Like a like sweet, sweet sauce. Yeah, like sweet, like barbecue kind of though on top. It's really fatty and nice. Cedar, here you go. You try that one. Mm, it's really nice and... And it's really juicy. Juicy. Yeah, these uh, 
So far of everything I've tasted between the chicken and the beef, this soppy is where it's at. This is really good. The, I like the barbecue glaze on that whole chicken. This is really nice. Mm. Very, very good. I highly recommend that one. And then what's Green, going on It's like here. you're building a masterpiece over here. So I finished peeling up this fish. Now I'm putting the chicken on it. Then I'm going to put some sambal on it and mix it all up around. Oh, Which sambal nice. are you going to go for? There's like... That one. You're going to go for the red one? Yes. Nice. That looks like the fiery one. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to do something similar to that. But over here with my tempeh, tofu, and rice, and then grab a sambal. I might not go for the super hot one. Maybe uh, one of these two are... Maybe even a sample of both, who knows? Hmm. Yeah. You know, I never realized there's actually a pretty decent meat on the foot itself. So this is my uh, kind of my first experience with the chicken foot. Hmm. And you can just kind of work off a little bit of meat off these toes. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. There's um, plenty to go around. Even on this bird. Another thing I just realized is right behind us. There's a hand wash station. Thank goodness, this is a, a pretty messy meal. Okay, so I've never really experienced the chicken head before. Um, I assume people will eat on the head. Before I get all the way up there though, I'm gonna pull the legs apart. Again, just kind of get in there and you rip it up is how you do it. It's the only way to really kind of get all the meat off is just get in there and tear it apart. But this is, uh, man, this is good. Mm. The breast meat, smoky. It's really great that they're they're cooking it on charcoal over there. So all that charcoal flavor gets uh, inundated into that barbecue sauce. Mm. Yeah, quite delicious. Really, really good. So the tempeh is uh, has this some kind of flavor on the outside, and it's really kind of greasy or juicy on the inside. So I'm gonna. Take a little rice with that. Mm. Yep, salty, but not too salty. Has a little bit of a glaze on it. And there's definitely a little bit um, oily or, or something. I'm messy too, even though I don't have the chicken or the sauce with it. And then the tofu, which comes in a big block. It's also been seasoned and marinated. I broke up a chunk of that, I put that with the rice. Let's go in for a taste test on that. Spectacular. Mm, I actually like the tofu better even. But they're both really good. I'm gonna put some sambal with them, mix them all together, try it all out. Go in for another, another scoop. I feel like once we get our dishes ready to go, we might need to do a little sambal taste off. What do you think, Granite? Yes. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. All right, let's get situated. He's still building his tower of rice and meat. Yep. And then we'll do a sambal taste off because we have three different kinds over here. How's your masterpiece, buddy? It's a little spicy. And um, the fish and chicken combined have a nice flavor together. Oh, I see. So you put the econ and the ayam together. Oh, I almost forgot to add the little fish. Oh, oh yeah. Put some crunchy there fish in there. Yeah. And the little, like, um, fish over there has a nice, like, crunchy add on and a little bit of spice to it. Do you like, do you recommend the combination? <laughs> yes. So I have taken a scoop of each sambal. There's a green one a light red one, a dark red one, and then over here with the saute, I don't know if you can see that, came a different one that's almost like an oil base. Oh yes. So we're gonna try that one as well. Whoa. I had a delay for a minute. Kinda hit the back of my throat. Is it good? Yeah, it's good flavor. But it, it's um, just all stingy on my tongue. Ah, but not on my lips burn. or anything. <laughs> just a little... That's probably why they brought the tea. <laughs> right, yeah, the, the hot tea. There's a lot of seeds in these, in all of them actually. So this one, this lighter colored one, which I would think would be like more of a tomato, but it has a lot of seeds in it. So I know it's not tomato. I know it's gonna burn. Good luck. 
nice. The green one's good. It's like my tongue is stinging, but um, not a whole lot else. I'm getting a little sweat. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. That one's really hot, but it has a good flavor. The flavor is really, really nice in that one. But I might have to calm down for a minute. <laughs> All right, swing that back out to Granite. Granite, how's it going down here, bud? Oh, Still enjoying? Really nice, yeah. Excellent. Now, Cedar, what do you have going on down here? You finished all the barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. How was the fried chicken? Um, I haven't really tried Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you still got your piece there. Yeah. Is it sort of strange to see the foot attached to the, the leg? Yeah, I don't know how to... You just sort of like grab it with your teeth and rip into it. Mm. It, all good? Yes. Do you, do you like, do you prefer the fried versus the barbecue or the barbecue over the fried? Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. Something about that sweet sauce is pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me. Like this has like a spicy taste. I'm not sure if it's from the barbecue. Because like they were stacked together, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, all right. Well, it looks good. I mean, you got lots of chicken. Again, we still have a few of those uh, soppy um, saute sticks available. But I want to move on to the oxtail soup. Oxtail soup has quickly become one of my favorite soups. Now, interestingly enough, when we were in Jakarta at the Sudanese restaurant there, I didn't know that there was a difference between the soups, the oxtail soup versus the uh, soursop soup. And I actually had one of these soups and I had the guy put oxtail in the soup. So I had the wrong meat with the soup. So I'm gonna try both. This one is a, a vegetarian soup. So Kelly, you might be interested yeah. in the sour soup. Yep. But we'll dig into the oxtail soup first. Big, as you can see, large chunks of oxtail in there. I'll start with the broth, kind of a clear broth. That's great. Picture like a um, like a like a chicken noodle soup type of broth. Very good. Very flavorful. Hmm. A bit on the herbal side. So some heavy herbs in there. Cilantro, certainly coriander. Hmm. Not spicy at all. And this oxtail, they've kind of. Uh, Cut it into like bite-sized chunks. I'm just gonna hold the bone and pull the meat off with my teeth. Yeah, mm, that's great. Very good. Tender. Tender meat. You can taste some of the, like a lot of a lot of fat on that, which I really like. Hmm. Yeah, that's very good. And then the bones. Toss it right back in the soup. I can put it in my little discard bowl. Now I've eaten all that that chicken. So finish with that, and just keep going on on the meat. Hmm. Little bits of bone in there, though. You got to be kind of careful. Yeah, the soup's excellent. Yeah, quite delicious. So I'm gonna switch gears and go to this other soup, the peanut soup. Wait, yeah, which one? You wanna go with the oxtail first? Yeah, go, I think you're gonna love it, yeah, actually. Yours isn't that yeah, go for it. So the broth, I think you're gonna really enjoy. The meat's pretty good. Mmm, the broth is really good. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Just a very light broth. It has this taste that I think we've had before. I think it's the herbs, this is what you're tasting. It's a bit salty. It has the, the coriander in there. It's oh. quite lovely. A little tomato, I can, or maybe carrot. It's either carrot, tomato, or papaya. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Like these little greens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a good soup. Yeah. So while you're enjoying that, I'm gonna jump in onto this uh, sour soup. And you can see this one, peanuts, corn, Whoa. some green beans maybe. Yeah, nice veggie blend here. Mmm. Oh, that's good. The corn is very prominent in that. And there's a whole like quarter piece in there. Yeah, that one's uh that one's very nice. The peanuts. Mmm. A bit of the um 
sour tang in that broth. Uh, very nice. Kelly, you want me to pass you this one? I'm gonna finish my uh, hot sauce first. Okay, cool. How's it going down here? Okay, I've cooled down. I have several layers of napkins down here. One just to wipe the sweat off my face because I'm, I'm sweating from the chilies. And the other one for my chili fingers. I don't want to wipe my hand, my face with the same napkins. Good call. <laughs> so I've tried the, the green one. Um, that was delicious. Just a little mild burn in the tongue. This uh, lighter colored red one was super spicy. I think from granite, mm -hmm. this darker red one is going to be really, really spicy, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. A little? A little kick. So I might try that one next. Let's get that one on here. Careful. <laughs> that dark red color always scares me. It always scares me. You never know though. Sometimes it's like more of a sweet thing, but that is a lot kind of, right? Maybe I'll take some of that off. Well, we might be taking a break after this one too. I don't want to be too quick to judge because I might be on fire in a minute, but that one is definitely manageable. Yeah. A little burn, but just in the back, not too bad. Cool, very nice. Um, but before I start on fire, let's try the, the oil-based one that came oh, with the saute. Yes. I have one more cucumber left for that. All right, all right. Okay, so this one has a little more oil to it. And it looks like it has red and green chilies in it. Lots of seeds, though. Mm. Mm. Salty. Actually, more of a burn or a sting than the bright red one. Okay. But also manageable. So, so far, the hottest one for me has been this one. And sometimes you never know with the color, it's more about the seeds, I believe. This is true. Now, let's, let's touch base with uh, with granite. He had that mountain of food. I'm sure he's still <laughs> working on it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, granite, where where'd the food go? In my belly. Nice. <laughs> you were hungry, huh? Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> what were some of your favorite components of the dish? The spice and the flavors. Yeah? Excellent. And you mix all the samples together. No. I should the... Uh, Red one. Oh, you just did this bright red one. Right. Okay, okay, cool. Well, excellent. Well done, Cedar. It looks like you're kind of coming to a, an end here, on the on the on the plate here. Yeah. So yeah, we are. We're doing a pretty good job knocking this meal out. I think we'll spend a little time, sort of polishing off the different dishes. But so far, so good. Outstanding Sudanese meal. Oh, it's so good. Again, I gotta grab one of these. So what they've done here. They've got the beef piece, a little bit of fat piece in the middle, and another uh, kind of a protein piece on the bottom. <laughs> and that is just so good. Mm. Yeah, thank you. That's so good. Man, what a meal. Sudanese food always hits the spot. I am so full, and it was good. This is some of the best tofu I've ever had. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Probably the tofu. The tempeh was equally good. Um, and then even the stinky beans. Yeah, the those are nice, crispy. Crispy, so crispy. Yeah. Not so stinky, but probably because it's crispy. I think so, fried. It'd be interesting right. to have them in different variations. Yeah. So yeah, I would say that uh, stepping out of your comfort zone, going to a new place, yeah. Sudanese food, Sudanese excellent. Sudanese food for vegetarians totally works. Yeah, they have a ton yep. of options for you. A lot of meat yep. too, so we're happy that way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really good, guys. Did you like the Did you like the food? Yes. yes. Yes, very good. Would you recommend the restaurant? Yes. Excellent. All right, well, if you want to see more uh, food adventures in Indonesia, check out a lot of our food videos. We are building an entire playlist dedicated to all the awesome eats around the world. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel. That's what helps our channel grow, keeps us going, and we do appreciate your support that way. Everyone, we will see you in the next episode.